Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. We made it to Friday. I'm Liz. And I'm Nolan. And for lunch today, we will be having on lines one and two, taco scoops, line three, soup and salad bar with California blend, line four, breakfast bar, and line five, pull apart pizza. And happy birthday goes out to Ashley Campos Hernandez, Nathaniel Faust, Charlie Garcia, Jalen Kidwell, and Armando Roa. And now to Nick with our local sports updates and dates. Thanks, Nolan. If any student is interested in playing golf this year, the first team practice will be taking place next Monday and will take place immediately after school in room 102. The practice will end at 4 o'clock. There will also be a parent meeting the same week on Wednesday, March 13th at 5.30 in room 221. Make sure to enter through school door number 11 from the back parking lot near the baseball field when trying to enter the building. Each player should have an adult representative available at the meeting. Cheerleading tryouts are scheduled for March 18th and the 19th, a mandatory mean for all girls who are interested in trying out for the 2019-2020 school year will be held next Monday at 6 o'clock in Case Arena. Parents and prospective cheerleaders need to attend this meeting. Practice and tryout schedules are available in the main office. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Palmer in the athletic office. Tonight, spring sports are kicking off as the Hot Dog Varsity track team will be competing in a conference indoor meet tonight. That's all I have regarding sports. Now over to Tyler Harness, who was available to get a sit-down interview with the freshman phenom, Elijah Anthony. Hi, I'm Tyler Harness, and I'm joined by the wrestler, Ila Watani. How are you today? Pretty good. First question of the day. Well, actually, first congratulation on an outstanding season and qualifying for the state finals. Thank you. Now, on to the true question of the day. What do you think contributed to your success in only being the only freshman to make it a state? Um, hard work, definitely. Um, I worked hard every day in practice, and I worked hard extra practices with my coach, Brady Eppert. So in all honesty, you were able to find true inspirations to helping in your success. Yep. Next question. Do you think breaking your hand in the semi-state affected your performance? Yes, because I was like worried that I was gonna start hurting and um, I was gonna worry I was gonna start hurting then I couldn't be able to wrestle to my full potential. Able to push through the pain and still keep going. What a true man. Next question. What is the bring the energy that I keep hearing about? Um, I went to Athletic Summit all, and what month was it? September. Huh. And there's this guy that kept yelling, bring the energy. And I've always been saying it for, for, for the team. Another true inspiration to the mighty Eli. Any other things you would like to add to this? Bring the energy. And hi, Mom. That's all the time we have today. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Tyler, for doing the interview with Elijah. Now over to the news with Nolan and Liz. Thanks, Nick. Good luck to all students testing for the Certificate of Multilingual Proficiency today. If you didn't get to take it and you still want to, there is still an opportunity for you to take the second session. Check your email and add your name to the Google Doc shared with you to take it. And now to Mr. Edwards on our amazing staff member of the month, Ed Niehaus. Congratulations to Mr. Ed Niehaus, our staff member of the month. Mr. Niehaus is a very well-respected athletic director around the state of Indiana and allows Frankfurt High School to host seven major events for the Indiana High School Athletic Association every year. Frankfurt High School has become a destination for state tournament events because of our facilities and the leadership 
of Mr. Ed Niehaus. Thank you to Mr. Niehaus for being who he is and making Frankfurt High School the great place it is. Thanks, Mr. Edwards, and thank you, Mr. Newhouse, for giving us not only the ability to host all of our major IHSA tournaments, but thank you for everything you do for all of us student athletes. In other news, on Saturday, March 23rd, from 5 to 8 p.m., the Public Library will be having an after-hours team gaming lock-in, and it's for anyone between the 6th and 12th grades, and all attendees must present a permission slip signed by a parent or guardian. Permission slips can be picked up at the team desk at the library. While you're there, you can expect any friend, anything from the hottest new games such as Fortnite and Smash to a board game room offering the likes of Dungeons and Dragons campaigns, and of course, tons of snacks. Make sure to come out as it's going to be a blast. Now to some of our own FHS staff and students on their thoughts and excitement on starting free breakfast for all of us here come Monday. Uh, March 11th, this Monday, we're going to offer free breakfast at Frankfurt High School. We're super excited to offer food to all of our students in the morning because research shows that people that have a good solid breakfast will perform better at school. This is a great initiative for Frankfurt High School. We're also doing it around the community schools of Frankfurt. We're excited to offer all of you a free breakfast. My name is Will Robbins. I'm a health and physical education teacher here at Frankfurt High School. I think having a free breakfast is a great idea. The reason why is because break fast. You are breaking the fast from the night um, that helps your metab metabolism speed up as well as burn energy throughout the day. You are a lot more alert in the morning as well as throughout the afternoon because you have that energy stored. I think that Frankfurt schools now offering free breakfast is very amazing because now we might actually be able to do even better academically and for the students that cannot actually afford breakfast, they now have the chance to eat in the morning. Thanks guys. I think I'm speaking for all of us when I say that I'm definitely excited to take advantage of the free breakfast here come Monday. I know I'm definitely ready to eat free food. Well, that's it for HDTV. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune back in Monday with your free breakfast as we bring you all the latest FHS updates and news.